welcome everybody to the PlayStation 3 News, where I bring you all the latest and greatest in the PlayStation universe. Now sit back and get ready to hear all the latest stuff that's happening. Starting off is Platinum Games has stated that they have no plans for downloadable content for Bayonetta. And it also has been delayed till 2010, except for in Japan. They said that it's on track for a uh, release later this year in Japan, but in the rest of the world... Not till 2010 because of the Christmas rush. Yet another game has been delayed because of crowded holiday season. Now also, Star Wars fans, LucasArts unveils uh, Star Wars The Force Unleashed, the Ultimate Sith Edition, which it's going to contain the original game and the existing downloadable content that's already been out for it, and also two all-new missions. Now, one of those missions that it's going to come with is going to be downloadable content if you don't plan on buying a game and you already have the original game. But the other mission that's going to like have an alternate storyline or something is going to be exclusive to that game, which means you're going to have to pay for it. Another way to get money out of you. <laughs> Sounds like to me. But for you fans of the Resident Evil movies, uh, if you've been unhappy with the way it's been going, you know, the way the story's been leading, uh, the, they have confirmed, confirmed a fourth movie in the Resident Evil series and they stated that it's going to be a rebirth of the series so if you've been unhappy with the way it was heading then you might be happy that they're going to change it up and it's also going to be titled Resident Evil Afterlife seems like a you know relevant to it but the thing I'm a little pissed off about is that it's going to be in 3D now I'm sure a lot of you probably like 3D movies or something but to me it sounds like Every fucking movie is going 3D. Now, some movies can be good in 3D. Some movies can suck ass in 3D. Me, it just seems like every movie is going toward 3D. Uh, you know, I don't know. And Guerrilla Games, they have been amazing with their support with Killzone 2. They have been making fans so happy with all the map packs, the patches, all the stuff, making everything the way fans want it. Well, it seems Guerrilla Games is taking a break from Killzone 2. They stated that they are going to have a uh, reflect on what's out right now for Killzone 2. Now, a lot of people are stating that this might be due to the fact that of the rumor that they're working on a new game, possibly Killzone 3. I don't know, but basically, you know, they're going to take a break from Killzone 2 for a little bit right now. And Ubisoft has confirmed a sequel for Tom Clancy's End War. If you were a fan of that game, you'd be excited to be looking forward to a sequel. Uh, that's pretty much all they've done with it so far is just confirm the sequel. And also, Borderlands, the unique RPG, has been de uh, dated for North America and Europe. It's going to be coming out October 20th for the North America and October 23rd for Europe. So go ahead and mark down the calendars if you're looking forward to Borderlands. Also, a the popular Xbox Live arcade game Castle Crashers is coming to the PS3. There's been no release date for it yet. And I cannot confirm that this is the 360 pop, uh, current popular 360 exclusive that was rumored to be coming to the PS3. I can't confirm it because it has not been confirmed that that is it. If you remember from when I stated that information, it would they said that it would be like a month from that time that the game would be announced. And it has not been a month. So most likely this isn't the game. Hopefully it's not because if it is, that sucks because I give a flying rat's ass about this game. And also, you Little Big Planet fans, seems you've been quite busy because uh, Little Big Planet has topped 1 million levels. Quite an achievement. Pretty sweet. And also, Ubisoft has stated that Splinter Cell, in their own words right here I'm using, could absolutely run on the PS3. And the reason they're saying that is because a lot of exclusive games, especially for the PS3, have been stated that only can run on the PS3. And they said that the exclusivity with the 360 on the Splinter Cell was a business decision, nothing more. And Uncharted 2 has finally gotten a release date for the U.S. Coming out October 13th. Make sure you remember that date or you know, pre-order it right now because that game is going to be the game of the year, hands down. It's going to be awesome, fucking amazing. But no release date yet for Europe. I'll be sure and keep you updated for that. And also the Saboteur has also gotten a release date. Uh, the Saboteur will be hitting store shelves December 8th. Again, looking forward to that this winter. Or Christmas, maybe. I don't know. And also, Call of Duty World at War is getting a third map pack. Next month, in August, they'll be getting three new maps. Two competitive and one new zombie map. 
And last bit of news is if you pre-order Batman Arkham Asylum from GameStop, you will get an exclusive challenge map uh, entitled Dem Bones, where it's going to pit Batman versus Skeletons. I don't know. Sounds cool, but I don't know. But if you get the PS3 version, you still get the exclusive, you know, playable character as the Joker. Which is still pretty cool. And also, before I go, i like to let you guys know for all your, uh, all the fans of my game music videos, you'd be very happy to know that uh, the world premiere of my newest game music video will uh, happen this coming Tuesday. Alright, so this coming Tuesday, look out for my newest game music video, and instead of sending me tons of messages, I'll let you know it's based on Resident Evil 5, and I'm sure you will love it. It's, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. It's probably one of the best I've done so far. So, for those of you who haven't checked out my game music videos, check them out. I'm sure you'll love it. Rate, comment, subscribe, and also rate, comment, subscribe this video. And I'll catch you guys next week. Don't forget, Tuesday, world premiere of my newest game music video. Make sure you check it out. Alright, peace.